going through the materia medica once again i've stumbled upon some gold which i must share with you all this is melandrinum there isn't much written about it except for a page or two maybe so we can quickly browse through it let's look at the clinical applications acne boils fistula impetigo knock knee measles unhealthy skin smallpox and ill effects of vaccination i repeat ill effects of vaccination and this is in print from a solid book and just to ensure the authenticity and dismiss the claims of pharma and their shills and so called doctors who call the ill effects of vaccination as some conspiracy theory i would like to point out the date of print of this book Nineteen hundred and two. So, this is in print from one hundred and twenty-one years ago. Considering that we are into two zero two three now, and it's in print. It's not some new age conspiracy theory. So, ill effects of vaccination has been known to mankind. even in print 121 years ago characteristics according to jenner the origin of cowpox is infection of the udders of cows by contact with grass on which a horse infected with grease has trodden this assertion as to some extent confirmed by the experience of homeopaths who have found in meland a very effectual protection against infection with smallpox and against vaccination straub made provings of 30th potency and they have given the reference number it has been used on inferential grounds with great success in ill effects of vaccination and he quotes i have cured with it cases of unhealthy dry rough skin remaining for years after vaccination in smallpox measles and impetigo burnet has cured with it a case of knock knee in a child who was constantly holding who was constantly handling his penis burnet's indications are lower half of body greasy skin and greasy eruption slow postulation never ending as one heals another appears impetigo eczema fat greasy looking postular eruptions are particularly acted on by this remedy heath has cured with malan 30 fistula in a pony's neck following strangles and marcy relates a striking experience with malan 30 in the presence of a smallpox epidemic he vaccinated himself taking at the same time malan 30 night and morning the vaccination did not take it was twice repeated and still did not take nor was smallpox contracted called to vaccinate four children in a family whose parents were recovering from smallpox he vaccinated all and gave melan 30 to three of them at the same time the remaining child was the only one whose vac- vaccination took this was so severe that melan had to be given to modify its intensity which it did effective effectually the other three were revaccinated but none took of five children from 6 to 17 years of age only the eldest had been vaccinated and he had a good scar all except the eldest were given 
Malan and were vaccinated and none of the four took. The eldest took smallpox. Malan was then given and in a few days he was convalescent. In another case of smallpox, Malan was given and the disease only lasted a few days, the eruption drying up. In the strobes proving the symptoms were more in evening. The schema, rather the symptoms were less in the evening. The schema is made up of strobe symptoms. Burnett considers Maland a very deeply acting remedy and not to be repeated oftener than once a fortnight. And finally, they've mentioned vaccination as the cause for all the drama behind smallpox in print. There's no point in dragging the video longer. The first time I read this, I was getting the chills as well. Because this is all in fine print. And they have been openly denying and continuing to erase the population with their newfound vaccines, even in this century. And people rush to get them, like some antivirus update. 